Jones, good, good. Jones, put you know that's work. Put Jones right there. Yes, sir. That's it. The NFL is a precision league. Knock it down, knock it down, knock it down, knock it down. Knock it down. Knock it down. Right there, good. From high school to college, a lot of guys can get away with just being athletic, just being fast, maybe just being long or stronger than everybody else. Smooth now, good now, good now, get up, one, two, good, right there. But the higher level you get, the thinner the margin for error is. You know, that's when precise movements gotta be in place. Now, engage, good, release, good, now, ball, good. Hey, my name is Rashad Whitfield, also known as the Footwork King. I train athletes at every position from high school to college and NFL. I specialize in movement, efficiency, and technique. One of my good friends is Brandon Jordan. He's a D-line coach. The whole world is your competition. You got to outwork everybody. Most of the guys there are blessed with athleticism, but you got to outwork the guy in front of you. Well, right now, we're in Houston, Texas. Good, hot Houston, Texas. <laughs> A lot of athletes train out here because of the, you know, the heat. It might be 100 degree heat, 80% humidity. I feel like you're training in, in the hell with a, with a sauna, you know what I mean? Nah, 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 good, right there. I'm Brock Wright from Cypress, Texas. I play tight end at Notre Dame and uh, preparing for the draft now. Ready, shoot, good right there. It's Jason Owen, I played at Penn State, and I'm entering the NFL draft. Day one is more like the evaluation day, so I can see how they move, see what they need to work. I look at their body type, see what type of move that goes with their strength. So he gonna hezzy, and then he gonna power, whoop, he gonna whoop, get out. There you go. Bottom might be fast, bottom might be athletic, bottom might be strong. I get them out here, some of them are, are uncontrolled. They got undisciplined footwork, all right, they're heavy footed, they may play too low, they may play too high. I can fix all that stuff, and I bring all that in, and I clean all that stuff up. So by the time we get ready to go to training camp, it's go time. Right here, you know what I'm saying? Some of the NFL guys that I worked with in the past, and actually I currently still do, Odell Beckham, Darius Slay, Eric Ebram, Miko Hardeman, Xavier Howard. A lot of the boys see me two or three times out of the week. So there's a breakdown, you know. For instance, if I got the receivers, Monday might be releases. Wednesday might be breakpoint mechanics. Friday is catching drills. But if I didn't like what I saw on Monday, we're gonna do it again on Wednesday so I can clean it up. Hey B, make sure you get your feet inside your body frame. All right, what happened is, bro, they go here and then tap, tap, tap. And then you start doing all this, you ain't going nowhere. So take it where? Octagon, whoop, whoop. Then what? Come on, whoop, uh, Right there. I've been working with Brock since he was in middle school. Brock is probably one of the best inline blocking tight ends in college football. We're working on primary releases, secondary releases, and getting out of his break. If he's here, Brock, you got to go here, I got to go where? All right, good, then, uh, then stick it. All right. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way that's gonna work. Rashad's really good at helping me with my fluidity and route running, recognizing coverages and all sorts of things like that. So getting out here, getting to work on that, and uh, you know, just overall improving my game as a tight end. Good, good, good. Tap, tap, good. Nah, good, right there. Good. You know, I think football comes from the ground up. Like I always say, the mechanics behind the movement. Everything you do in NFL has got to be precise. So I start, I start right here first. Start with feet, and then you start going football IQ. Ah, good. Right there. Ball. Good. You see a lot of release stuff where I got to dip in the shoulders and I got to release it off the pad. And then you always see them push it to a linebacker. Then the eyes go in. Eyes go in. Uh-huh. Boom. Boom, there you go. You got to move them with your, yep. You're going to start moving them with your eyes. You see a lot of guys kind of moving with their eyes. Um, a lot of demeanor, a lot of head fakes. That stuff plays a huge role in NFL football because the NFL defensive backs are so talented, so smart, their football IQ. It's not easy for receivers to get off there, to get them guys off their spot. You know what I mean? So now you got to kind of move them with their eyes. I'm not safe. I'm here, B. If your eyes are straight, bro, keep probably going to think, there it is, right there. You know what I'm saying? All right. It's chest, dog. It's nice because, I mean, when you're doing practice or weightlifting at Notre Dame, it's a lot more generalized stuff. So when I come out here, we get to focus on specific things, just working that craft and working on all the little things you need to get better at. Nah, nah. Now, good, right there. Right there, bro, there you go. Good eyes, baby. Today was great, worked on a bunch of route running stuff. Now that pro day's over, it's all about getting back into football shape. You know, do weight training every day and then come out here, do this sort of thing, and then a little bit of conditioning on top of that. But, uh, you know, ready to get back into the football swing of things. You know, you got some that are gifted. Because when you get to the NFL, you got to start taking everything, dude. Everybody's good. Everybody's gifted, but the detail things, the small detail things will separate everybody else. Right there, yes sir, Jake. Oh, get that. Good work, good work, boy. I've been working with NFL athletes for years. I think the main thing is body control for a lot of guys, uh, learning how to use their body. Because a lot of these guys are big and strong, but they don't know how to stop and start. They don't know how to anchor their hips down. Knowing how to bring speed to power, and then just movement, the hand activity. But it's feet and hands, feet, hands, and eyes. Attack this shoulder here. Attack this shoulder now, boom. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Jason, he's a long guy, so and he's fast, so we're going to go speed and speed the power. Oh, oh. 
ready. Step, step, boom. You feel right there. Yeah. yeah, it's just more specific step, step, step. and you know more detailed. Like I know, I know what I gotta work on, and you know it's more one on one, and you know, I'm getting it done. Pop, 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 pop. Right there. Chop. Yeah, right there. Chop. Good. That's work. Chop. Good. Right there. I wish I can get more time. You know, I feel like I'm getting better every session. Hit up BT, man. He the best. Hit him up. <laughs> The NFL is a, uh, it's a quick game. Speed is second to agility. So you gotta be very detailed, precise movements, and very calculated. It's like chess, honestly. Now you can't drop yeah. it. When you drop your hand, you gotta, yeah, yeah, yeah. you gotta keep them up. It was my first day with Damone. First day I go to fundamentals. I work footwork, start off with the octagon, working body control. So I start with their feet, go and get their upper body together, and then I put it all together. This is my third year with Roy. We started off with footwork. Good job. Pop, pop. Good. Yeah, he a big guy. I work in coordination with him. We're getting his hips flexible, working hands. Step. Good right there. But now we're more advanced. We're moving a lot, working his toe turn, working a lot of stab, more Pacific, running his line, things like that. So we care about vertical. Hey, Q, crab, but when you get ready to drop, whoop, rise up. You know what I'm saying? So I can, I can, uh, whoop, 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 whoop. Right there, you know what I'm saying? Rise up. Crab, now, rise up, now. Whoop, one, two, good, there it is. I've been training Cordy since he's ninth grade. Uh, he's a wide receiver coming out of Texas A&M. He's a special player, a great hands, possesses a lot of release quickness, a real sly route runner, uh, uses a lot of head fakes, uh, able to sell with his eyes, more so quick than fast, but has running back ability with the ball in his hands. Oh, uh, flip, now, good. Uh, woo, good, right there, ball. Good. We're working on accelerating, decelerating with him. He got short area quickness, but he got to be short area quickness to control. Stick out there to him, push vertical to him. Inside him now. Good. There you go. No, inside, boy. You know, we're working on releases. Release is what we got to do to get into the development of the route. And release is just a receiver escaping from a defender. If you don't see them getting open in the NFL, it's probably because they can't release. You know, that's why I'm like, a lot of the guys who are super duper fast, it's not going to be beneficial if you can't release. Oh, 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 oh. Square up, square up. He ain't going nowhere. Well, he ain't going nowhere. Got square with him. Good, now he here. Now move, there you go, good. Just from working out with him so long, he kind of got a feel of the things that um, I need to work on. Different days we might do like releases, routes, straight footwork drills, running back drills, all that type of stuff. Good, now, good, Q, good. Eyes on, eyes on now, one, two, good, right there, ball. Good. The recording is just fine tuning. I have him doing a couple of steps at the line as if there's a, a defensive back there. Worked on moving the, the defensive back with his eyes. Worked on release quickness. Step, step, step. Good, there it is. Cordy for work, great. That's highly expected recording, man. He's been out here for too long. It's second nature to him now. Good. I remember when I first came out here, I was not nowhere as quick as I am now, you know what I'm saying? So we just drilled all of that. Like, we went hard on it. I definitely elevated my game a whole lot working with him for those years. Everybody good at this level, you know what I'm saying? So you can't really miss a step as you could like in college or high school because everybody at the top of their game at this level. Doing these things right here just keep me sharp, you know what I'm saying? So it definitely helped. Living in Texas, football is king out here. I played football from Little League, from middle school, high school, but I battled a bunch of injuries in high school. So I walked on to U of H, but I didn't get any opportunity to play up there because I got injured again. Being a kinesiology major, kind of helped me understand how the body moves, you know? The injuries is what got me to where I'm at now, though. You know, they helped me understand how the body works and then how athletes are supposed to move on the field. So I figured out a lot of different ways to get point A to point B without a lot of strenuous movements. A lot of coaches can't, they can tell them what to do, but they can't show them. Man, we visual learners, all right? You can't tell them what to do, all right? They want to see you do it. You got to explain how it benefits them, right? After you explain, you got to demonstrate. Movement efficiency is, is key. Usually when somebody gets beat, whether it's O-line, D-line, or receiver, cornerback, you know, somebody moving better than the other. Somebody hands quicker than the other. In the NFL, you, can, you, know, you can't just get by by athleticism. You gotta start getting more detailed and start really honing in your craft. For guys that aren't working with me, you know, they don't, they don't wanna be great. You know, I can tell you that right now, just off my energy alone. But once they come out of here, they don't leave. I gotta write me that damn book. Yo, you rise up, you gotta get ready to run, but if you crab up for a long time, your don't keep dropping. I told Odell, rise your up. Odell was whoop, whoop. Odell stayed up tall. Jamal ain't going nowhere. <laughs> hey, Jamal, you better make sure Jamal think you're in the post. Cause that, hey, Q, you can be coming right here. Jamal might be shifting. That joker know his